Hello guys and welcome to part 9 of M16 modeling tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be doing a magazine so what you want to do is you want to get a cube and you just want to drag it out like this and then you want to get the back vertex and you just want to pull it down and then you want to go to your perspective view and you want to grab the bottom face and then you want to extrude it and then you want to play it right down to the bottom and then when you've got there what you can do is you can <coughs> go to your rotate tool and just rotate it in a Z just to match your image Okay, and then what you can do is you can go to vertex mode and grab these two vertexes and just pull them down to about here where it starts curving. And then if you go to edge mode and if you double click the edge and then bevel and you want segments to be free. So for, uh, segments is free, and then you can leave the offset at 0.5, and then go to vertex mode and just pull the vertexes back, just to line up with the image. Okay, and now what you can do is you can scale out your magazine so it looks like it fits inside nicely. So like that. And then what you want to do is you want to insert an edge loop which is halfway around your model okay and then you want to insert another edge loop about here and then go to face mode and you can delete the other half of a model like that and then If you want, select all your model apart from a magazine and hit Ctrl and H and it hides the rest of your model. So you can now just focus on your magazine. <coughs> okay. So now you want to go to face mode and you want to select all these back faces here and you want to extrude them and you just want to pull them out just a little bit and then what you can do is you can go to this edge and bevel and you want the offset to be point well one okay and then you gotta select these vertexes and merge them like that and then delete all these back faces here So just these, nothing else, and delete. Okay. Now if you go back to your side view, you can start scaling it down just to match the image. And these vertexes need to be moved up a bit. Right, so if you insert another edge loop up here, then you just scale it down to make it straight. Then you insert another edge loop across here, and here, <coughs> and here. 
and then what you can do is you can select all these faces here and here all the way up to the top so about here and then you stop and then what you want to do is you want to extrude these faces inwards so you want to extrude and you want to push them back in the Z like this okay and then at the bottom <coughs> you can see we've got these faces in faces so you want to delete them delete and delete and grab these faces here and just pull these back just a little bit okay just to make them ones deeper So now you want to go to split polygon tool and you want to insert a split here to, to here and then again on the other side and then from there to in this corner in this corner and then same on this side from the corner to here to here and then you want to merge all these vertexes together and once you click merge once and uh, when you select the vertexes just click G and it redoes your last option which was merge alright and then you want to delete these faces here and then you want to append polygon tool and append here and then again just click G and just redo it and then click enter and you're done okay so now if you select all these face uh, edges here sorry and if you go into the move tools attributes or settings whatever and if you go to select edge and click one of the edges that you've selected so set to edge and select this edge here and now you can move the edges outwards and same with the other side as well you just want to pull them in a bit like this and then you want to do the same for the top ones But first you've got to keep them nice and straight. So you yeah, select all the top edges. And you just want to scale them down in the Y. Like that. And then you can just pull them down just a little bit. <sighs> okay. And down here at the bottom as well, you can see that you need to straighten stuff up. So if you select all the vertexes at the bottom. And then. You go into your side view. And you just make sure that everything's selected. And then you scale down in the Y, just to keep everything straight. And then you can rotate it again in the Z, like that, and then it's all good. <coughs> okay. So now if you select all these faces up here, you can delete them. And then if you select this edge and just pull it back a bit. And 
five nine. What you want to do is you want to go to your front view. And if you want you can just straighten up that edge if it's a bit out of shape. And just move it back just a little bit. Now I think it's here where you don't want to do anything, okay? So let me see. Yeah, just don't do none of this stuff here, okay? Just bear with us. Just don't do none of this, alright? Because in a minute it will undo to the last bit of the model. So there's no need to do this bit. Okay, so carrying on. You want to insert an edge loop up here. And you want to insert one here. Alright. And then <coughs> Okay, you can insert one about here. And then you want to delete this face. And then you want to go to split polygon tool. And you want to insert a split from here to this corner. And from here to this bottom corner. And then all these edges here. Just double click and double click. You can delete these. And... <coughs> Now if you go to split polygon tool again, you can insert a split from here to this corner and just double click this edge and just delete. And now if you double click this edge and then extrude and just pull it back just a little bit. just like that and then just grab these two vertexes and just scale them in the Y and the top ones as well just to make sure they're straight and then you want to pull the bottom ones just a bit closer to the top so just a bit closer like that Okay. So So you can grab these vertexes and just pull them up just a little bit more. And I want to go higher than the uh, one on the right. Okay. And then you want to select all these edges here. And you want to uh, extrude them and just pull them down. 
and you just want to pull these faces inwards and same with this face as well just pull it back and same with this other face just pull this one back as well okay then you can move that vertex like that and with this one what you can do is you can delete <coughs> okay move that vertex first just to keep that one nice and straight and then with this one just pull it back if you moved it and what you want to do is you want to go to split polygon tool insert a split from here to this corner here and then if you go down to the bottom of your model you want to go to split polygon tool again and you want to insert a split from here to down here and then delete them edges ok and now if you select this top edge here the one that's going diagonally so go to edge mode select this edge delete it go to split polygon tool insert split from here to here then from here to here and there we go and now what you want to do is you want to select these top faces here ok and you want to extrude them and you want to pull them up just a little bit and then you want to go to edge mode select this edge and just pull it out just a little bit ok and now you want to select <coughs> these faces here and all around again and just extrude these ones and then you want to select this bottom edge here you just want to pull this out as well and that's it for part 9 uh, feel free to add any other detail that you want for the magazine okay and thanks for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for part 10 which is the last one so and you can also model your own bullets and put it into the magazine so thanks for watching all right bye